Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. It's the time of the year where we get to have the best phone Samsung can offer. They skipped last year's Note series. So this is the most, well, anticipated time for Samsung fans, including me. There's a lot of changes on the S22 series. Some are really good upgrades and we will go through them as we unbox the newest and the latest Samsung flagship phone of 2022. This is our unboxing and first impression of Samsung S22 5G. A borrowed form with a different beat. Hey. Don't forget to subscribe, my friend. Let's go. You will see the parts of this video on the upper right corner of the screen. This phone costs 1100 Canadian dollars plus tax for 256 gigs. This is a promotion. You get twice the storage, then goes back to 128 gigs for 1100 after promotion is over. A quick look on the packaging, I think on the Fan Edition and A-Series, they use a white box, but for the S-Series, it's pretty consistent black or matte black finish. Let's open the box. So right off the bat, you will see the phone. It is definitely smaller than last year's Samsung S21. We will check it later, but for now, let's check what else is inside the box. You only have one small box included. This is made of recycled material, which I think all manufacturers want to advertise they care about the environment. Inside the box, you'll have a typical USB Type-C end-to-end. You will also have a manual. I don't see much information on this, but hold on. Okay, so the instruction here is to access the manual on Samsung's website. You also have the SIM ejector tool to pry open your SIM card slot. Yup, pretty minimalist package, nothing much to say or do. Let's check the phone, set it up for the first time, and make our first impression. That's a satisfying feeling sound. You know, this build is a little different than last year's model. It's heavier though smaller. This phone uses Gorilla Glass Victus Plus and aluminum frame. Great job, it's about time. This phone reminds me of Samsung S10 build. Samsung is back with their old game, nice. Let's open the phone and set it up for the first time. It has the same look as the previous Samsung S21 with a more premium finish. Okay, something is different with the newer Samsung S22 5G setup. You need to insert a SIM first before you can go to the setup process. I may need to switch from iPhone 13 to this phone. I have no choice, but let's do it. I'm speeding up the video to save some time. Once I put my SIM in, I will restart the phone. If you're buying a used Samsung S22 for some reason, make sure to put your SIM in first and make sure it works. While the phone is setting up for the first time, it might need a few minutes to register your SIM. Let's do a quick comparison with iPhone 13. It almost feels like iPhone 13 counterpart for Android in build quality and design. Even the race camera module, it looks slightly bigger on Samsung S22 than the previous model. Okay, the setup is finished. Let's check the phone. The screen scrolling is definitely smoother. I think it's using the adaptive refresh rate. We will check it later. Let's go to the settings and check the OS version. So it's running on the latest One UI 4.1 that is based on Android 12. This phone out of the box has September 2021 security patch. Update might be available, so always check the software update. Now let's check the camera and compare it with iPhone 13. This is our initial impression. We will do a detailed camera comparison of this phone versus all popular phones you can think of and the older Samsung S series. So don't forget to subscribe. Let's see, comparing the studio plan side by side, it is sharper and punchier on Samsung S22. Looks really promising. I will do a full camera comparison of these two phones for the next couple of days, even the speed comparison of A15 Bionic, Tensor Chip of Pixel 6, and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 of this phone. Of course, Pixel 6 versus Samsung S22 camera comparison will be there too. Now let's go back to my theory. I think by default, this uses adaptive refresh rate. And yes, it does. It has 120Hz screen refresh rate. Let's check the available storage for 256 gigs. Again, if you're buying it in promotion, you will get twice the storage capacity for the same price. I think that's a good deal. So, it has 218 gigs of available storage. This doesn't support expandable memory, so you might want to take advantage of the promotion right now. Just a quick comparison of the older packaging three years ago. The base model Samsung S10E has everything from the charger, cable, full manual, and AKG earbuds. Now we only have the cable and a piece of paper, so keep it in mind. 
for almost 1200 Canadian dollar give and take, there are tons of phones out there that will give you so much more. This is expensive. So for almost $1,200, you will have the cable, the manual, the SIM ejector tool, and a really good phone. Is it worth it? Leave your comment below. Samsung S22 5G is a borrowed look with the different internals. It's a different beat. So there you go. We will compare this phone with other phones in our channel. Maybe Pixel 6, iPhone 13, Samsung S21 and S20, and many more. So stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.